Good afternoon, everybody. All right, great excitement. Uh, this is the last performance of our Key Stage 1 reception nativity, Let It Shine. And if anything, if yesterday's performance is anything to go by, you're in for a real treat, year 5 and 6. So sit back, enjoy, be a good audience. Feel free to clap and applaud when you feel appropriate and enjoy our nativity over the key stage one and reception. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
see the set. Let's take a trip to one of the roads leading into Bethlehem.
processes, many pleasant ones in fact, at Tim Carroll's planet. In their excitement, they told Heron all about the newborn king and promised to let him know when they found him exactly where the baby was. They thought Heron would be a thrill to play with about this new king, but that wasn't quite the case. Meanwhile, the foreign writer of luxury in Harold's palace 
I own Purple China, a London dusty road. Some months earlier, a beautiful, bright, golden haired angel called Gabriel visited her in the Lord Mary, fast her to be the mother of God's son. Mary agreed that she and her husband, Joseph, started to make their long time journey to Bethlehem. On the way there, they now nine months of Bethlehem and remembered the angels were sick.
but the wise learn plenty because the lovely wise and not let the senses set them down. In fact, they're pulling out all the stops to make their visitors feel at home. the scent of a fresh green grass and enjoy the fragrance of burning embers in your nostrils and doesn't the common tree poo that lines up your nose <laughs> out on the hillside some hard working shepherds are thinking up some ways to pass the time
frankincense and myrrh. That's what we've brought, I mean. Now what we call Casper, Balthazar, and Melchior at your service. Thank you so much.
the stormy night, the celebrations beginning all over the earth. Birth, baby Jesus, come by the bondage to the Lord, and brought to heal from heaven to earth. Because to you, it will be journey worth making. We hope you've enjoyed our story and that all your festive journeys will be peaceful and safe. May the stars shine brightly to light your way. And the angels sang to fill your hearts with joy as you celebrate this special time.
innkeepers and their wives. Give them a round of applause. Brilliantly, we've got the two narrators. Stand up, give us a round of applause for those narrators. We've got, I think, Joey. Is it Joey? Joe. Joe, or even Joe, Mordy, and Sella. Where are they? Stand up, you three. Stand up, you three. Or a good king, I don't know. It's Herod, is jester and servant as well. Give them a round of applause. Um, last but no means least, we've got no, not last but no means least, we've got all our reception. Are they all party goers? That's right, isn't it? Some reception, give them a big round of applause. And then we've got Mary, Joseph, and the donkey. Stand up, Mary, Joseph, and the donkey. Take a brow, give them the best round of applause so far. Right, we couldn't be prouder of you. Now, um, also, there's a lot of adults' support which has gone into this. Lots of people have been working exceptionally hard. Uh, we just want to say thank you to a few people. So, again, give them a round of applause. Let's have a look who we've got here. We've got. No, we've got. Oh God, this is a nightmare. <laughs> nightmare, absolute nightmare. Where are we? What are we looking for? Uh, we've got. Well, I'm just going to go with it. Let's go. We've got Mrs. Noshan and I think Miss Bauer. Can you give them a round of applause, please? chance to see you on a team team um, so I'm sure and I hope that they enjoy it as much as we've enjoyed it in school but lastly can we just give reception year one and year two a big final round of applause. 